Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the global version, the original, brand new top, selling electric pottery wheel machine product on Amazon, and AliExpress with discount price. Some parenting rights feel more like fear factor challenges, and cutting a newborn's nails would make the finale. First, there's the physical challenge of holding a baby still, not possible. The moral challenge of considering yourself a good person through baby screams, not possible. And finally, the high stakes. When you miss even just slightly, you are dealing with tears and blood. Baby blood. Yes, the tiny, nubby little corner of a thumb will heal in a day or two. But you will worry that you have conditioned your child to fear having their nails cut, and taught them that the person they trust most in the world will also cause them pain. I thought, I wouldn't have to deal with my baby's nails right away. But it turns out nails grow in the womb. And my son was born with Jen Shaw S. Callens. I also didn't realize that my son would be hardwired to use these nails to scratch his face. In newborn photos, my son looked like he'd gone backpacking through a brush. Forrest thought I was afraid to rectify the situation myself. Because of what my friend had told me about the first time her son got his nails trimmed, she'd entrusted the task to a postpartum dala who had confidently gone in with nail scissors, a professional baby tool for a professional baby wrangler. But the nails were so paper thin that they were actually hard to see, and the Dalla mistook the tips of three of his fingers for nails. Before the baby started wailing like he was on fire, my friend remembers .at the hospital. I asked the nurse how to cut my son's nails. Try a nail file, she said. I love nurses almost as much as I love the allure of a simple solution. But there's a reason why the intellectually underemployed receptionist of 90s sitcoms was portrayed as perpetually filing her nails. The task takes forever. You are rubbing a soft stone against keratin, like a caveman attempting to twist sticks into fire. Between pumping, washing bottles, not sleeping, pumping, washing bottles, and not sleeping, I was spending 30 minutes a day LARPing as a petition. I read about the electric nail file drill on a Reddit forum for new moms, and, unsure it would even work, got the most basic model on Amazon. $9.99. There's also an $18.99 version from the New Zealand brand Hocket, which seems identical, except that it's pink, and a $34.99 version by the Frida Baby brand, which seems to have exactly the same features in a more streamlined white tube. The fanciest model I could find $49.99 from a Lababy does the same job, but charges with a USB cable and, while designed to be more comfortable to hold, also looks more confusing to use. The cheaper model that I went for was easy to figure out. When it arrived, I popped in an AA battery and clicked a tab that powers a mechanism that causes a circular nail file lodged in the head to spin like a pottery wheel. You can adjust the speed, and mine came with five heads of increasing roughness to use as the baby gets older, and nails get less soft and sensitive. I started to file his nails in the car when I was bored, and the baby, constrained by seat belts, looked like a salon client waiting for his manicurist. I threw the nail file in day totes and vacation bags, and, at one point, when I thought I lost it, I overnighted a second file on Amazon. When I found the one I thought I'd lost, I kept it as backup. It was nice to have one file permanently stationed near our projector, so I could sand my son's nails down while watching 100 foot wave. It's almost designed for working in the dark. Turning on the spin mechanism also turns on a tiny LED, which shines down like a reading light on the nail you're working on. When my son was about nine months old, that light became a problem. He considers every spinning, illuminated object to be a toy. What was this thing? At first, I could distract him by putting an actual toy in his other hand, or throwing on Sesame Street. But when he was about a year old, he started getting upset when I pulled the file away. One night, my husband asked an obvious question. Had our son just outgrown the file? Was it just a crutch? A way for us to avoid one of the most difficult tasks of parenting. Were we ready for the clippers? Was he ready for college? Disclaimers. These choices may be out of date. All of these products may not be in stores. We don't know when this will be back in stock. You need to go top electric pottery wheel machine 2023 review link to see the most recent updates to the list. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel.